Um, I'll go ahead and take it, go Joe, while Travis figures out the uh, audio. Um, what was the decision that went into taking Menifee out in that inning, and how did they get away from the bullpen? Well, I thought Menifee did a great job. We had runners at first and third. He was highest pitch count that he's had in quite some time. Felt like it was time to go to Al Makers, who was west rested and ready to go, and, and certainly that, that move didn't work. What can, what can you say about the Tennessee offense just to keep coming at you and really never taking that bat off? Who, who's offense? Our offense? Tennessee's. Yeah. Well, I mean, we just did a poor job out of the bullpen. I mean, we had a 6-5 to five lead in the seventh inning on Sunday, a chance to win the series, and, you know, we don't get the job done out of the bullpen. I mean, we've got spread a little bit thin because our starters didn't get us very deep this weekend, and – but Tennessee's got a nice lineup, and, and certainly they scored 15 runs in the last three innings. I like to think we're a little bit more capable than that on the mound, but give Tennessee hitters credit. What was the message to the ball club after the game? Well, I mean, we had a 6-5 lead in the seventh. We've got to have some other guys step up and, and help out on the mound out of the bullpen. I mean, can't ask for anything more than that on a Sunday at SEC play. We've just got to have somebody go out there and shut the door, and we didn't get that done today. Thank you, Coach. Coach, does, seems this like, seem, does this seem like it's as much of a dropped opportunity as it looks like on paper because y'all are needing to hunt wins and it was kind of right there for the taking? Well, 100%. I mean, it's it's one that got away. I mean, people are going to look at the score to, tomorrow and they're going to go, well, at Texas A&M got run out of stadium, which we did. But, you know, to have a 6-5 lead in the, in the seventh inning and not be able to go out and you know, make it stand up, keep it closed, have a chance to, you know, get a big hit late to win it even. Uh, and it's not about being perfect out of the bullpen. It's just about keeping it close. And certainly we didn't have anyone do that other than movement of me who gave us a shot late. And then uh, uh, your bullpen uh, arms, bullpen arm, just getting that first getting guy that first out. Guy I think there was four extra base hits and three home runs, runs on, that on that first, that first batter of a pitcher uh, who came in the game. How um, important were those at bats? Well, I mean, they're very important for Tennessee, and certainly we didn't get it done on a mile. We go to the bullpen. We've got to be able to get the first hitter. That's why they're coming in the game, and we didn't do a, a good job at all of that past movement of feet. Rob, what was your uh, what was your impression just to, overall this weekend of of just Tennessee's lineup one through nine, specifically Evan Russell today? I mean, he's a guy who has had, I think, three, like, multi-home run games this year. What, as a coach, and you sit back and watch a guy like that, what what makes him so tough to pitch to at times? Well, if you can't make a mistake. You make a mistake against their lineup, and, and they can make you pay in a big way. I mean, they have very good balance, one through nine. It's hard to match up out of the bullpen with them. It's left, right, all the way through. And, you know, they got some older guys in there that they will not chase, and, and you've got to throw it over the plate. And they did a great job not messing it there late today. Anything else for coach? Thank you.